Hey third team friends, I'm Healy down at FH Empires with another Rule Tuesday, a hot take on one rule in the book. Today, we're talking free hits awarded just outside the 23 and a five meter infringement occurs inside the 23. Ready to read between the lines? Let's do this. I recently engaged in an online discussion revolving around what we do when a free hit's given just outside the 23 meter line and a defender commits a five meter infringement inside the 23 meter area. What's the correct award? Is it a free hit and a likely card? Or is it a penalty corner and perhaps a card? Because it happened within the 23. It's one we intuitively know the answer to, but we can get ourselves in a spot of bother if we think about it. Side note, don't ever think. It never works out for us. Big thanks to Lee Barron and Rob Tenkat for their thoughts on this one. Here are the rules. First off, 13.2b requires that for free hits, opponents must be at least five meters away from the ball. If an opponent is within five meters of the ball, they must not interfere with the taking of the free hit or must not play or attempt to play the ball. If this player is not playing the ball, attempting to play the ball, or influencing play, the free hit need not be delayed. Next up, we check in with rule 12.2a. A free hit is awarded for an offense by any player between the 23 meter areas. And finally, 12.3c. A penalty corner is awarded for an intentional offense by a defender outside the circle, but within the 23 meter area they are defending. In this situation, the correct award is for a defender who interferes with the taking of a free hit that starts outside the 23, that's another free hit. If advantage isn't better, and a card in many to most situations depending on your level of play. Now, here's why. This infringement is one of those instances that we're not giving the foul according to where the infringement occurs. Instead, it's according to the placement of the ball. And we work through it by going through hypotheticals if we were to switch that up. So here's the first hypothetical. If an attacking teammate is within five meters of the free hit, just outside the 23, it's not a foul if they're standing in front of or inside the 23 meter area. It's only a foul if the ball starts in front of the 23. Here's another one. What if the ball starts two meters outside the 23 and the infringing defender is only one meter away? They would get a lesser penalty, so a free hit, than a player who starts three meters away, but is therefore inside the 23 meter area. That doesn't fit with the way that we understand the game and the notion that the award should line up with the magnitude of the foul. And that's why it's going to be a free hit. Did this Ruly Tuesday help unblur those blurred lines? Let me know in the comments and drop a line with your rulebook questions. If you liked it, why not send it down the line to a friend and share the knowledge. Also, you can throw me a line with a $3 monthly blue membership. Head to FHU3T.com and join the FH Empire's third team. Ciao for now.